gotta be able to get your herb garden in your slippers. It is key. It's herb garden planting day. For this herb garden, I'm planting parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. A classic Scarborough Fair herb garden. Let's do it. I have this tiny little parsley plant. This is the flat Italian parsley. And then I got some sage at Home Depot. I love the burvy plants that they have there. They're so big and healthy looking. Uh, and I also got a rosemary there because they just looked beautiful. Look at that, lovely. So a new rosemary. And this is French thyme. I think they have English thyme, but I don't have French thyme. So that will be a new herb for me. I'm using this Nature's Care potting mix. I like it, it's organic. And I've got this planter that I've used for a few years. I like the separate compartments for herbs because some of them, um, I'm looking at you, Sage, get a little bit enthusiastic. So I like this compartment, one that keeps them separate, especially if you're going something like mint. And then my new Amazon Basics transplanter. There's some old potting mix in these containers from the fall. I'm gonna go ahead and use it again. I think it's probably fine. I'll just top it up with some of this fresh stuff. So we just gotta get these herb plants in their little container garden now. Oh, look at these strawberry blossoms. We are gonna have so many strawberries this year. Oh, soon. Okay, staying focused on the herb garden here. Look who snuck in. All right, I'll just make a little divot here for this parsley. If you squeeze the little nursery pot, sometimes they come off more easily. I like to keep the labels, um, but you can also make like pretty labels too for your herb garden. That's a really nice thing to make it look a little bit prettier on the patio. A little bit more potting soil. We'll get the rest of these herb plants here into the herb garden. I do loosen up the roots if there are a ton of roots around around the bottom of the planter. If the plant is looking root bound, I should just give them a little bit of a loosen up. Yeah, this one gets that too. And onto the French thyme. Get it tucked in there. It's a perfect gardening project for beginners. If you don't have your own little container herb garden yet, I highly recommend it. Just choose whichever herbs that you like to grow or like to cook with. Look for some baby herb plants at the garden center. You can even get them delivered these days. And just find a nice little container that fits onto your patio or somewhere where you can see your herbs. Often you can get to them in your slippers, which is key. Uh, somewhere you can water them easily and somewhere that they'll get some sun. Most herbs tend to grow best in the sun. So that's how I plant my little patio herb gardens every year, and I look forward to harvesting from this one soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garden.